frustrating day today then, Kevin. What do you make of it? Yeah, absolutely. Same same frustration again as, as the other games. You know, it was a really, really tight game. There was nothing in it. Um, we created a couple of chances in the first half. I don't think they had any. Um, and it was a tight game. Last words at half-time, don't give away silly, silly free kicks. That was the last words we said going, because you know that Accrington away, uh, if a player goes down or whatever it is, whether it's a borderline free kick, you're, it's going to go against you. And it goes against us, and they win the game off of that free kick. And then after that, we go, uh, we, we go, and, and it was a game plan to keep it tight, keep it tight, and then break, and then go at them a little bit later on. And we have... I haven't seen the chances back, but maybe three goal line clearances. Uh, how we haven't got at least something out of that game, I will never know. Did you struggle to cope with the pitch first off? It's very difficult to play. You played on a very difficult pitch on, on Tuesday night as well at Blackpool and seemed to do all right today. Did it have any effect on the game? No, I don't think it did. No, I thought it was a really tight game. I thought we nullified them. Attacking wise, they can be, you know, they've got some very good players. Uh, and we nullified that. Uh, and like I say, kept it tight. We've, we started the game very well, 20 minutes, and then I felt it probably t turned in their favour after 20 minutes. Um, but we, we, we stayed in there, and the second half again was really tight, and it, and it was a free kick a set piece that changed the game. We've seen Harry Burgoyne starting in goal over the past two games. Today there was a new man in goal, Benji Bouchel. He's uh, coming on loan from Oxford. Talk us through bringing him in and Harry Burgoyne. Being here. Yeah, all that was, listen, Harry, Harry done really well for us. Um, we'd arranged to keep him, uh, but then the deal decided, Wolves decided the deal kind of changed. So, so we we went for a bit, uh, Benji instead. And that, and that was how it was. Benji had been on our radar previous to that as well. Um, but li listen, we, we've got a, a, a done very well today. Um, we've got an experience keeper in there. So we're yeah, happy with both players, with Benji, we were pleased to have him. It's your fourth game in charge now, still no wins. That must be incredibly frustrating for you, considering how close you have come on a few occasions. Yeah, I, I know, it's really frustrating. You've got to keep positive. It's hard to keep positive with them, and, and you want to let off steam. Uh, but you have to keep believing in what you're doing. And I know that, that you know, there's, there's no way that we should have come away with it from nothing today, but it's all about results, and that's all that counts. And I, I understand that as well. And the f you said earlier on the, the chances you had cleared off the line right at the end of the game. Do you feel you did enough to trouble them throughout the majority of the game prior to that? No, I think it was a really tight game. I think there wasn't a lot. They didn't have chances. We didn't have chances. There wasn't a lot in that at all. So it was really tight. And we, we did, we, like I say, we felt it was going to be a tight game and, and maybe a set piece might might change it. Um, but no, we didn't test them loads until the latter part. Well, we, all, we did um, in the first half. Uh, John had a good chance. Um, and then we had a good chance just before half time with Mara. Uh, but apart from that, but again, it, it was a tight game. We're looking ahead now, next week, Crawley at home. Same sort of attitude, bringing that into the next game. Keep going. And you can't come much closer to getting your first win now. No, you have, to, you have to keep positive and keep going and work harder again. Simple as that. Uh, but there's team selection issues, obviously, now. Have you picked up a few injuries? Uh, no, we just, we've, we've obviously we're not winning games. You'll be looking at what the lads on the, on the sidelines will be, you know, a few of them might be knocking on the door, so get us in that side.